Hey guys, take a look at the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone 15 Pro or the 15 Pro Max or any of the iPhones that you have that might be overheating. Now, we're going to explain to you why you're experiencing possibly overheating if it's a brand new phone out of the box and also some things you can also tweak in your settings to fix the problem itself. So let's get started. So the very first thing is that it's very normal for the iPhone to overheat when it's new out of the box and you just started to use it, especially if you have moved all of your data from an old phone to a new phone and the reason why that's happening is because this process called indexing which after you get a new phone you move everything over it has to process all that data in the storage of your phone so organize it in a way that it's easily searchable whenever you're searching things up so Apple recommends give it at least 24 to 48 hours after you set it up to like let it go through the whole indexing process which is really heavy intensive on the hardware on the phone so you might be experiencing overheating even battery draining quicker than normal so let it complete that process and see if you experience that issue but now let's say you'd spend some time and you're still having that issue well a couple things to check out whenever you set up your new phone is first thing in your settings here what you want to go ahead and check out is the actual in your settings here accessibility here and if you have voice over all over on I would recommend turning this setting off and the reason why it is when you have this setting on it's constantly uh, looking for instructions for you running in the background and that could potentially cause the phone to heat up and a lot of users have experienced that so I recommend is turning that off and if it's off it should be gray just like that now the next thing you want to do in terms of fixing your overheating problem on your iPhone is in your settings you're go to general and then under iPhone storage you want to ensure that you're not using up all of the storage you want some free storage available so the data can process better on your phone so let's say you have 128 gig for example this is the base model and I'm using up 128 gig it will say that right right now I'm using 14 gig so I have 113 gig available that's good but let's say you have almost zero gig available here and you're using up all of your gig try to clear up some stuff by maybe deleting longer format videos uh, photos they usually tend to take up a lot of space any apps that you don't use that will much improve your phone's performance and any overheating problem that you may be experiencing now the next thing you want to do after you have freed up your space is that you want to ensure all of the apps that you have on your iPhone has been up to date and the reason why I want to say is that you want to update the apps themselves because once you're on a new phone like iPhone 15 Pro it's running on iOS 17 and the apps might be on an older version that supports iOS 16 so they need to be updated and how can you update that well it's really simple you're going to open up app store just like this right and once you open up app store you're going to want to go ahead and if you're not signed in make sure you're signed in so i'm going to go ahead and sign in here so once you're signed in you're going to look at a screen like this now what will happen is if you have a bunch of apps like this phone here for example that needs all the apps to be updated you'll see there's a button that says update all you're going to click on to update all of the apps and the reason again i said is that the reason why you need to update all the apps is that when you're running a new iOS version these apps have to be updated to be compatible on the version if it's running an old version right it's gonna have issues so you want to make sure your apps are up to date so they don't cause any issues with the software of your iPhone so go ahead and update all of your app and once you have updated all of the app I recommend is completely closing out all the apps itself so you're gonna slide up just like this and just swipe all of the apps until they're completely closed now after you closed all of the apps the next thing you want to do is go into your settings here and then under your settings you're going to go to general here and under background app refresh you want to take a look at all the apps that are using or running in the background so when you have all of these apps that are listed they're constantly running in the background meaning they're constantly using up performance data and using uh, the hardware itself I recommend is going ahead and taking a look at to see if you really need any apps that needs to run on the background most of the times app don't need to when you open up the app it will load up the data but when it runs in the background it basically runs in the background constantly pulling data from the internet but sometimes it's not really necessary so I recommend is either just simply keeping on Wi-Fi or turning it off completely and all of the apps will be 
now running in the background. That will save you also a ton of battery life as well. Now, after you have done that, now it's time to force restart your iPhone. So in order to do a force restart, it's going to be really simple. You're going to press and release the volume up and then volume down. Not this button, not the new action button, but the button underneath, which is the volume up and then volume down one after another. And then you're going to hold the side button until the screen goes completely black. And you see the Apple logo at that time, you'll let go of the button. So I'm going to do ooh, volume up the volume down and then I hold the side button just like this here on my hand here and that's doing a force restart which is going to shut down the phone completely and then help reload the code again so again if it's a code related issue it will fix that issue so once again I see the Apple logo I left that go up that button now this method will not delete any of your personal data so you can rest assured that anything you had on your phone will stay there so nothing is getting deleted and it's important to do that whenever you do a new phone setup and the reason why that is is that the code just needs to reload especially if you transferred a lot of information over to the new phone and now hopefully that should fix your overheating issue that you may be experiencing now the last thing you want to do is check if apple has released the update for ios 17 so ios 17 is new and as people are using it more and more and reporting the issue apple is constantly improving the software so what you need to do is go into your settings of your iphone and once you go into your settings go to general software update and check to see if there's an update available for you now as you can see here ios 17.2.0 has been released to fix some bug fixes security fixes and any other issues around transferring data and anything that could be related so it's up to good to just make sure your phone is up to date with the latest version so if Apple did fix any sort of software related issue that could be impacting the heating problem it will be addressed in the software update itself so you go ahead and download and install make sure your phone is at least 50 percent or more and make sure uh, that you're connected to good strong uh, cellular data or wi-fi and hopefully after doing that update it is fixed and Apple is constantly looking at the updates to fix these problems so if you're experiencing this problem like i said most of the time it's that indexing is going on you just have to be patient sometimes it could take even a little bit longer than 48 hours so i know it's a little bit frustrating but trust me that over time it will be fixed for sure and if it doesn't get fixed for some reason you can always take it to apple store have them run the diagnostic at their uh, genius bar or any specialized support that they have so i hope this video was helpful if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time